Hello and welcome to another visit to Davetopia. Today we're looking at horses, donkeys, and mules, but you won't necessarily get to keep them yet. The easiest way to tame this guy is to feed him something he likes so that he won't buck you off immediately. It doesn't look like there's much of an animation for feeding these beasts, but you'll notice that I am using up the wheat and sugar in my inventory. You can also feed him apples, golden carrots, or golden apples, but that seems a bit of a waste for this part. When you think you've fed him enough, empty your hand and mount him. If you've succeeded in taming him, you'll see hearts. Uh, when that happens, you can place a saddle on the critter, which will allow you to steer while riding. You can access the horse inventory by crouching, or possibly by having your hand empty while riding them. If you don't have a saddle, you can procure one while riding, while trading with butchers in villages, or randomly finding them in chests in abandoned mines. So I felt like doing a little bit of an experiment here. It's okay to experiment on animals in video games, right? Right? I wonder if he can swim. And no. Well, I suppose he is technically swimming, but not with me on top of him. I tried remounting and pressing a variety of buttons, but I couldn't find any that succeeded in swimming with me on top of him. Uh, so here you can try using uh, one of the leashes to lead them to shore. Uh, those can be crafted with a few string and one slime ball. So this whole section of my map is actually pretty new. Uh, they just had the resize world option last week, and so I made my world a little bit bigger, um, and we're about to pass one of my original farms that was ravaged when I increased my world size. I was rebuilding it, but I kind of stopped in the middle of doing so, uh, because, you know, I'm not exactly poor in the game anymore, so I could probably do a little bit better than some of the cobblestone that I originally used to build it. And in just a moment we're about to see uh, some of the new hoppers they've added in, which I am so happy about because they make my iron farms so much more effective, and that was them. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to elaborate on why you might not be able to keep your horse. Now this is my second donkey. I also had a full-fledged horse before. The first disappeared after being tethered to a fence when I left the area. The second was tethered inside of a fence that was three blocks high. Can't be too safe, am I right? Um, this one I won't be very cautious about, but it's uh, more for illustrative purposes. So I figured I'd take him to somewhere where I could stash him and then make a quick travel away and back. Um, I have some temporary minecart systems right over here that I'll use in a moment. Uh, first I've got to stash him. And again, I'm not just can you use the leash to move him around, but when you put the leash on him you could also attach it to a fence. Now I've got some stuff going on here which made it a little bit difficult to do right away, uh, but I was able to get him stuck on here. And there we go. Now he is stuck. And he is going a little bit nuts, but if he wants to be on there, I suppose that's fine. In the background, you can kind of see a tower more coming on. It's about halfway finished uh, with the outside. And then I'll have the prospect of trying to decorate the inside, which is going to be a pain. Okay, we'll go over to one of my other villages over here. I have my friends Oliver to thank for uh, a lot of this. He's done some upgrades to this village. Um, made it look a lot better than it used to. Uh, and we've played around with uh, some trading options there. But that is not why you're here for this video. So with some of the new updates to minecarts, I don't know if you noticed, you can't just use a pickaxe to get out of your minecart anymore. You have to exit your minecart first, and then you can chop it. And it seems like some of the uh, some of that is throwing off my rail system a little bit, at least how I have it currently set up. So I'll probably have to change that later. 
I don't know if you know at the time, but it was about 40, maybe 45 seconds that I was gone there. Not very long. And he is gone. The tether is still there. And that is not what you like to see after you just had a horse with a saddle on him. Or a donkey or a mule. Maybe he's zoned inside. Nope. Well, I'll look around out here a little bit. I don't see him anywhere. Don't see him high, don't see him low, don't see him around. Uh, maybe, you know, it's dark. If I just go make it lighter and go someplace a little bit higher with a better vantage point, maybe I can see the stupid horse. So, as I've said, I've lost three horses. My wife has lost at least two. Uh, one of my friends was able to keep one of his horses, but his second one's disappeared. So maybe you'll get lucky like him and keep one. Maybe you'll lose him. Feel free to play around with it, but I don't know if it's worth it right now. I'll probably get a patch out soon. Anyway, um, hopefully at least the ability to tame horses uh, will come quickly to you. And you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. Thank you, and later.